let's transfer a computer from one case to another. Stay tuned. Hi guys, you're watching Squappy's videos. My name is Craig. Let's go ahead and actually build this computer out. So today we have my old computer, which is sitting right here. This is a uh, Intel 2600K. It's actually been working as my free NAS box for the past six months. So this is actually where my storage is. Thing is, I wanna go ahead and expand some of that storage and I don't really like this case. I did get this case for free and I wanna go ahead and put it into a more storage centric case. So that's why I have this guy here, which I actually got on Facebook Marketplace for a pretty pretty cheap deal. This is a Fractal Design uh, Define R4. So we are actually up to Define 7 now, but this is still gonna be a good case for me because what we actually have, make sure you guys can see this here. Go ahead and undo this. Got this for a seal, this was $35. And we do have a little see-through panel, which is what my current case has. But then we also have a whole bunch of drive bays. Now, with all these drive bays, this will actually work out great. If I'm going to be using this as a little free NAS box, which will probably go ahead and go to TrueNAS Core very soon, which I will have a video for coming up. Uh, as far as it, this holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight separate drives look at that and it also has actually some bays up here for like cd drives and everything like that but you can also use those for hard drives as well plus there's also space on the back for some ssds so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and actually transplant the motherboard and all the components from this computer and bring it over to this computer today so that's what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and take this little guy apart i'm going to use my ifixit toolkit they are not a sponsor. This is actually just a really good toolkit overall. And we're going to go ahead and move everything over here. Let's keep locked on. Let's go ahead and get that done.
All right, now for a moment of truth. It boots. All right, sounds like it's booting. We'll have to go ahead and go check on the computer. Let's go check that out. All right, and as you can see, here we are at the free NOS login. And it booted up successfully. It does show the CPU there, the i7-2600K CPU at 3.4 gigahertz, my 16 gigs in memory. For some reason, I'm only reading at 15.9. I think it's because I'm using the uh, internal GPU. And my storage pool is there. So everything is running properly. What I'm actually doing now is I'm going to go ahead and connect to the remote server, make sure it does pull up, and my shared drive did pull up. So that's it for this video, guys. I do thank you guys for watching. I really hope everybody enjoyed this uh, little project I've been looking forward to do for a little while. I'm going to go ahead and get some video uh, up soon of upgrading FreeNAS to TrueNAS Core since that's the way everything's going. If you did like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Make sure you do subscribe for more content. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, my name is Craig with Squappy's Videos. Bye everyone.